Hey everyone. First you want to say hello to Bailey. Bailey, is this? Is that? Is that? Hopefully <laughs> you can see him. Um, oh, I just wanted to come on and say like, just sort of explain the kind of energy that I'm feeling at the moment. Um, and it's like, you know when you're in a flow state and everything goes so well and you can just, um, you know, everything that you do, everything makes sense, everything's coming to you, you get the intuition, you get the flow, you get the passion, you get the drive, you get the motivation and um, it's just like continuous and um, it's like exciting and feels great and you just know you're in the flow. Um, so, it's a bit bright, isn't it? It's lovely. Uh, yeah, so that kind of state, we know we're in that flow state and, and things go really well for us and um, we kind of have that energy around, um, that same energy around everything that we do. But then sometimes, you know, we can find ourselves feeling stuck, like things just aren't moving forward efficiently, effectively, like, and we feel kind of like we don't understand why and nothing's like working when technology starts to not work, when like, um, there were like blocks in your way and you can't just like push through them because there's always, you know, you're only trying to get from A to B but there's just so many things that are stopping you in between that small space and you have to work through each one of those to get to it and sometimes you just start to think like you know we push and we exert all of our energy into trying to force to get to this next stage to get to this um what we think we should we should be doing that we actually just kind of were so focused in on that that we kind of can sometimes forget to just take a step back and be like hang on a minute <laughs> maybe this isn't flowing for a reason and maybe we're just not in the right mind frame mindset maybe we need to look within and do some meditation and do some spiritual work and do some practices to help us calm down to help us reflect and to help us actually think to know is what we're doing now is it the right thing that we should be doing or should I be waiting should I just have the patience and have the sort of um you know awareness of the intuition of like right okay it's not working and if everything is for a reason then we shouldn't be pushing things because pushing and exerting our energy is just going to leave us deflated and not being able to actually give all that we want to give into the work into any contribution that we're wanting to provide or anything like that and so like we want to give our full best and um, we want to give 100 percent we want to be enjoying it in the process and so it's just like if this is ever happening to you or and you just feel like stressed out about it and you're like getting overwhelmed with emotion because it's just something I've been really experiencing recently really recently and um, in the past couple of days it's just like gosh like um, everything was in flow and and then suddenly it's just like ah chaos you know and your energy's everywhere and it's like hang on a minute take a step back go within do some meditations, do some reflections, do some journaling, do some deep self work and be like, is this what I should be doing at this moment in time? And if I step back, um, that's okay. It's okay to step back. It's okay. There's no rush for anything, you know? It's perfectly fine for you to step back, take some time for yourself, even though I know you want to be in that moment, in that position, in that next goal, in that next achievement, in that next step. I know that it's like so important. Um, but sometimes it's definitely necessary to just not push. Um, and to just go, especially if it's not working, and to just go right, um, use that as a lesson, as a guidance, as an opportunity um, for you to go within and for you to then maybe figure out that maybe that actually that isn't the right thing I should be doing at the moment, it might be this. And maybe then some answers will come to you once you've cleared your mind and you've got that open creation space where you can go, oh, maybe something better will come to you, maybe something different, maybe something, um, which will fulfill you better, which will get you onto a, 
a, a path that you didn't even know was possible yet. And so just to bear in mind, like this stuff happens all of the time. And like, you know, if those signs are against you in that moment, don't be angry about that. Don't get frustrated or stressed about that. And if you do, that's okay too. And um, just know that you can release that emotion. Like for me, I got quite overwhelmed and you know, you start like, just like feeling the energy around me of like this so intense. It's just like, okay. <laughs> that's there that's fine let me just calm down and work work um, ride those waves rather than getting kind of swept up in them and taken away and um, stranded you know we want to um, feel safe by riding them if that makes sense to you <laughs> and so yeah just thought I'd say that uh, yeah that's it really just take the time to look after yourself um, especially if you're feeling extremely uneasy in these times and um, feeling maybe this kind of suppression and trapped feeling so yeah just something to maybe be aware of take that step back it's definitely worth it because the answers will then come to you with complete clarity okay that's it for now Take care. Love you lots. Bye. Hey everyone. So this is just a quick follow up from the previous video I did um, about feeling stuck when you're trying to move forward. I just wanted to go over some practices that could help feel these energies coming up which are taking control of you, lots of emotions lots of confusion in your thoughts, you're not knowing which way to turn, you're not knowing um, which is the best thing for you to do. Um, and so it really is, like I said in the last video, important to take a step back and to not feel like you have to rush because that doesn't always lead to the best outcome. Um, it's like, of course, we don't want to give up. Of course, if it's something that we truly, truly want to do, and of course, like, um, if we know um, in our hearts, right, that's what we want to do, then we, we keep going, we keep pushing through. But we need to be mindful of the way that we do that. And we need to be mindful of what it is we're thinking when we are clear-minded, not when we're overtaken with the, all of those thoughts, but when we're clear and concise and we know exactly um, you know, what we need to do step by step without, um, getting totally overwhelmed and feeling like, you know, I don't know what to do with my life, don't know what next. And then, you know, just, you know, you could end up just ruining something that could be your masterpiece or something like that. So I'm going to go on with a quote from Steve Jobs, which I'm going to just read. Um, it says, follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. And it's so true, right? It's like when we're so overtaken by this, we forget what this heart feels, what it wants. And we don't and we stop allowing the intuition to come through and for it to do work for us for it to flow for us for it to be completely immersed in the passion and in the excitement and in the love and in the um you know boundless energy of that intuition that just comes flying through you know um and so we need to allow that and so first i would say say to yourself um it's the language that you use to yourself right so say to yourself, I allow my intuition to flow through me. I allow my intuition to flow through me. And and saying like mantras like that will help release um, any negative stress that may be built up. Okay, so I've just got notes written down here. Yeah, and so... This is what I noticed as well, is how, you know, one day you could feel stuck and you feel like you, you're not getting anywhere. 
and and then you know we we kind of say oh it's like a wasted day because we've just totally just been trying and trying and trying and not getting anywhere right but then the next day or it could be the next few hours if we just go right okay today is not the day this needs to be done I'm going to go and do something incredible like one of these practices I'm about to tell you um, and then but the next day you know you could then start to feel absolutely incredible and totally ready for it so you just don't know what's around the corner and so when we tell ourselves I can't do this I can't achieve this I'm not good enough I'm not um smart enough I'm not um you know any 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 negative thing that's going to pull you down will pull you down and so just watch the language that comes into your mind at all times throughout your life anyway um and just take note of that and maybe even you know write that down and then scribble it out and then write the absolute opposite so i can achieve i am good enough i am worthy i am capable you know even if it seems impossible you can do it and maybe a structure or some more understanding of the background um of what you're trying to do or you know there's there's loads of different ways which you can reach out to people and help so just let me know if you need help and i can try and help you in these ways so the next thing i was gonna say is yes you know the truth by the way it feels so when you when you you know if you're gonna do something say if you're going on a date um and you go to this date and you know you sat there you kind of instantly know if there's a connection there or chemistry or um whatever that it is that you're looking for um you, you just instantly know right you, well you, at least you'll instantly have a feeling um, and then you know throughout the date you'll you'll that'll enhance that feeling or you'll change that feeling but you have that feeling right and you trust that feeling okay and it's like and that's what it means it's like it's what you do you really want this or are you doing this for money do you really want this or you're doing this because you want a relationship do you really want this or are you doing it because someone's told you so or because you want to get to a certain um status or a certain um you know something external where you feel like you need to get to to feel better inside so that's a really huge thing to take note on to just notice how you feel and if you really feel like anything's not right in your life and it's not you need to listen to that like because you can prevent so much um heartache in all these different areas if you really just truly do um what your heart is telling you with love with kindness with compassion at all times and it's definitely the best way to handle any given situation in your life no matter how much you want to arise with the emotion, with an anger or frustration, just just turn towards love, guys. This is my meme, right? So it's just it's just a really incredible way of turning your life around because then then you'll start to see the changes massively. Okay, so let's go on to these practices. So first. It's completely trusting in the universe, okay? I know this may sound a bit far out, but the science is there, guys. <laughs> and I ain't going into that now. But trust, surrender, open up. Because in those moments where you feel like, I can't do this, right? And you just um, block yourself up and it feels too weird, too uncomfortable, too like something like you don't really know, um, you're not really sure on because you've never really felt that way before. It doesn't feel normal, right? And in those times where you surrender and you open up to the universe and you be like, universe, help me in 
ask you know ask the universe for whatever it is that you want with openness with love and with the kindness and with clarity and with um not worrying about the how but just being completely open to what it is that you want in your life how it is that you want to feel in your life and surrender to that feeling surrender to the feeling of passion excitement of um success of um love you know whatever it is that you want to feel experience it now feel it right now feel what it would feel like um to to be living in that experience right now and when you do that and you start to live in that unknown and that uncertainty just start to play with it use it as a game and be like oh you know okay so you know I'm gonna walk out to my mansion or to my gorgeous country home you know is what I would I would be saying in um somewhere in the rawness of Scotland or somewhere in the um beauty idyllic um you know perfect place for me you know and say um bring it to me in the most unexpected way that's perfect for me okay so say those things bring it in the most perfect way um for me so definitely have that kind of mindset in terms of anything that you are pushing for in your life and keep it that way and every time you you feel a slight doubt just turn it around completely turn it around with with feeling those feelings okay and I couldn't even stress that more because it's like what I wanted to create in my life is um for me for example is like a life where I don't have to worry about money and and work and you know when you know just having so much responsibility um and not and not having any time for myself and so that's the kind of thing that I put out there that I wanted this freedom and um you know this financial freedom this freedom from my mind freedom from my soul freedom um from so I you know so I can go and live my life filled with adventure and so I can go and do the things that I do that's important to me like look after my family like be with my friends like you know things like that and and so that's the kind of manifestation if you like that you want to put across and surrender to the universe live in that unknown live in that uncertainty and do not be afraid of it guys right now what's happening on this planet please don't be afraid please don't be in fear don't be separate from everything find what keeps you united with love okay find what keeps you filled with joy filled with happiness and do that as often as you can okay so i'll quickly go on so i don't want it to be too long of a video okay so yeah changing your perspective again so it's just like keep turning around those doubts those negative thoughts and things like that um with the powerful affirmations and mantras and and um things that are going to keep you um focused on the success rather than the the failure you know um even though I don't really believe in failure, I think like everything is a brilliant lesson to learn and then you just go on there and go on from there and get better and better and better. And so don't be so hard on yourself, guys. Don't be. Okay, so next. Um, yeah, so you manifest the energy and beliefs you say, you do, and you feel. So be continuously cautious of every thought that passes your mind. And so these are huge lessons that can be delved into deeply, um, but really take that on board. Like it's so important to be mindful of every thought that passes you by, because um, that leads to your behaviors, that leads to your creation of your life. Like everything in your life at this moment is what you have created, right? Through the manifestation of your thoughts, it's being brought back to you. Um, 
And so it's so, so vital for us to keep track of those thoughts and make sure we're filling our minds full of that vibrancy and that joy and that happiness and that abundance um, freedom. Okay, so yes, so do simple things like journaling. Journaling is amazing. Get your diary out um, you can get those planners. I've taken mine down now, otherwise I would say do that. Um, I'm changing it up. And um, so, yeah, you could you could buy one and you could just um, get blank papers um, and just write down what it is that you feel um, throughout your day and how you felt from the morning to the evening and then how you feel about what it is that you're trying to achieve and, and how that makes you feel from morning to evening and if you feel like you've accomplished it or not. And I would definitely say... Um, when you are doing something, this is something Jordan Peterson said that I think is so valuable. It's like get right down the list of, of what it is that you want to do per day and make it absolutely achievable for yourself first. So maybe on day one or whatever, you do one thing, one simple thing that you want to achieve that day. Okay, and then you tick it off the list. And it is so important for you to tick that off your list because when you do, you get this feeling, this rush, this like oh, great success already. So day one is a success. It's been easy. I've ticked it off the list. Feel great. And then the next day you can maybe do two things, you know, and don't overwhelm yourself with what you are doing per day. Just do it so simply. Um, and then you will move forward fast, trust me. <laughs> um, unless you are in this power flow and then you're like, go, 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 go. <laughs> like, I've also been there when I created Root to Mindfulness. I was like, on, I was just like, insanely every single day. There was like months, I don't know what the energy was at that moment, but I was like, on it. Um, it was just flowing. And yeah, it's just a beautiful feeling. And so... Um, expressing yourself through all these different outlets I'm explaining will help bring this feeling back, this intuition back, this joy back, this flow back. Okay, so next, nature walks. So definitely get out in nature as much, as often as you can, even if you love sitting on that sofa, watching the TV, binge watching series, eating whatever you eat, loads of rubbish. I don't advise that um, because it changes your mood, you know, bad food changes your mood, gives you mood swings, makes you um, not feel great. So you want to feed your body, feel, feed your soul with things that make you feel so good, that make you feel alive and fresh and ready. And and please know that whoever, whoever you are, like you can do this and this is achievable for everybody. And um, it's so easy to change our life around, even if we think we are stuck, right? We can change our life around, okay? Um, you just need the right mindset to do so. And this is what we want to work through now. So the next is grounding practices, I think is so vital, okay? And it's like, center yourself, okay? Come back to your breath, recenter back to your breath. And then follow your breath, follow um, the inhale, exhale, in through your nose and out through your nose as well. And, and do that and gently ease yourself into your inner body. Start to feel your inner body. Start to give love to your body and then ground. Imagine there's like a cord, like a beam of light coming out from the root chakra, which is just... Um, coming out from between your legs all the way down to the centre of the earth and then ground yourself, hook into the centre of the earth, hook into the earth and be like, I am grounded, I am ready, I am capable, you know, I can do this, own it. You'll feel it a lot in the belly as well. In the belly you kind of have that fire and that flow and that, you know, it highlights this sort of power and this innate sort of ability to feel that you know, um, will, willpower, you know, and that's the kind of thing we want to, we want to have, um, activated. So 
you know feel your belly and and just give it give it these mantras and affirmations and keep yourself um keep yourself grounded and hooked into the center of the earth and and know that that earth is keeping you stable is keeping you firm and you are ready to take on anything okay so the next thing is meditations so you can do small meditations throughout the day you can break up your day with what you're doing with meditations again bring yourself back recenter into your breath you can do simple breathing things like that you can do um 10 minute 20 minute meditations you can find some meditations on route to mindfulness on youtube which is my channel where i hold all different types of meditations for um in which i guide you through to help you through different areas of your life where you may be struggling um, so check that out guys maybe give it a like and a subscribe you know um every little helps thanks and yes meditations are the best because that just completely clears your mind and you know what i don't believe in bad meditations at all i believe in once you realize that you have um you know, you've had this negative thought, for example, this thought that's taking you down, this thought that isn't um, bringing you the um, sort of lift that you need. When you notice that thought, you are onto a winner. <laughs> like, that's it. Like, you've done it. Like, that's awesome. Well done. So you notice those thoughts throughout your whole day and notice them during meditations and turn it around, change that perspective, bring it back to um the positivity then um you are on to success so i'm just going to keep it short and simple and that's good yep being mindful of your energies and emotions yes so just continuously be mindful of how you're feeling in every moment what situations you may be um going through in your day the environment you know your atmosphere that you're in with different friends or family or colleagues or um any anywhere you know just out in public what it what are you experiencing within your body at that time and notice where in your body you may be feeling anxiety or stress or maybe you're feeling happy whatever it is that you're feeling notice it and start go oh, okay this situation's made me feel this way and everything that you feel is okay you are okay to feel whatever you feel <clears throat> and so this this is a lot of things i think as well with people like we just don't want to accept what we feel we want to shut it down and suppress it and it's just like no we need this creative expression to flow we need these emotions to 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 bring us our you know manifest and bring us our creation our masterpiece um you know and this brings us our flow because you're not pushing against anything you're just allowing it you are allowing it to be there to come through and to accept it no matter what it is that you feel if you are sad own it if you are angry i mean it in a way like don't go and be angry to the world but just go okay i'm angry i'm not gonna go i'm not angry <laughs> you know i'm angry okay simple that's okay. I'm experiencing this and that's made me angry. So I'm going to, I'm going to come on in, come on in here into your heart and be like, let's give it some breath and be like, there's no need to be angry. <laughs> Who cares? Anyway. Um, so it's just keeping that balance and peace of mind. So there are many more things that I will probably go, oh, should have said that. <laughs> um, but, you know, um, it, you can dive deep into these things. And if you want help with anything that I have said, please let me know. Contact me. I am friendly and, yeah, I love to just chat. So let me know. Let me just go over things here to make sure I've said everything. Um never give up and that's what i want you to just know never give up um um you are worthy um don't allow anything to just beat you you know just give it time 
give it time and everything's going to be all right. As from one day to the next, just completely changes, you know. Just listen to your body and do what it feels in the moment. Use your intuition to guide you in your heart. You have the ability to fly through those barriers that you felt yesterday because you listened to your intuition and you rested and you reflected and you um, gained space in your mind for clarity to emerge. Exactly. And that's it. And that's total nutshell of it all. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to go now. It's been 24 minutes. I don't half chat on, but I just want to give you so much. Um, so everything I learn um, um, through my courses, um, well, you know, my own personal courses that I go through, I um, learn and want to share what I've experienced, the education that I feel is important. Um, and I don't want to come on here and, you know, I don't want to disagree with anyone or anything. I'm here to just like try to uplift and enlighten and um, make you um, feel positive about your day and your life because yeah, you are unbelievable and I love you and take so much care. Don't be in fear, just own your emotions and trust have faith in the universe in the world ground you'll be awesome any questions you know where i am bye